So this is an example of working a wrong side row of a complex chart using locked floats. So these first few stitches are my border and there I'm slipping the marker and I'll work one stitch in the light color. And now I am putting the yarn I just finished over the yarn I'm about to use. So I wrap those two yarns. That only happens at the beginning of a row when the two yarns first meet each other. And you see that twist? We're gonna keep that twist there. So following the chart, there's a white stitch and another white stitch. So I'm locking the blue, plain light stitch, locking the blue for a fourth light stitch, fifth light stitch, so it's every second stitch of the same color where I'm securing the floating yarn. And I'm getting that blue yarn over to where it needs to be for when I need it. And at the same time, continuing on with the light yarn. I promise you, we're gonna be using that blue in just a second. Here we go. So I'm going to purl with that blue yarn. This is the yarn that's carried in my left hand. And then I need to do a light yarn. And then blue. And each time the first stitch, it's a plain stitch. Then to lock, I wrap the light yarn one direction, the blue the other, unwrap the light, and pull it through. And I know that's quick on this video. There's a plain stitch. a plain light stitch, a plain dark stitch, and then I'm locking the light yarn because this is another dark stitch, two in a row, so the second stitch, that unused yarn gets locked, and a light stitch, I'm gonna do a dark stitch, <laughs> and so on. So to see each of the individual uh, methods of locking the float, either the light yarn or the dark yarn or the main color, contrasting color, whatever you want to call them, I have a whole series of videos that shows you each of these individually. This example, this demonstration is meant to just give you an idea of what it looks like when we're following a chart, reading the chart, and working the way across the wrong side row. So there's a pearl of the dark, and I slipped the stitch, whoops. Now I'm locking the light yarn. You see they go two different directions for that particular one. A third dark stitch, and then locking that light yarn behind the fourth dark stitch, a plain dark stitch locking the light yarn behind the dark yarn. And now it's just a light stitch. And then, wasn't really supposed to lock that one. So we back up here. It's the first time it's gonna be a dark stitch, right? So just work it. And now I'm locking the second stitch, so locking that light yarn, doing a plain dark stitch for the third. The fourth stitch, need to secure the light yarn. Getting close to the end here. Plain dark stitch. Locking a dark stitch. Plain light stitch. And we're going to lock the dark yarn. Another white stitch. Locking that blue behind a plain light stitch. Locking the blue behind. Another plain one. 
locking the blue behind. And here we are, that's the last time I'm gonna use that blue, so I just let go of it, and I'm going to purl to the end of the row. Remember to check out the other videos to see how to do these different stitch techniques. There's examples in my playlist.